The best camo pattern has been a debate for a long time. Not only the pattern, but do you really need to spend a lot of money on premium camo to trick a deer's eye? In this video, we're gonna do our best to give you a real answer by looking at science and comparing various camo patterns using filters to simulate deer's vision. So with that said, let's get into the video. First, let's talk about the science of a deer's eye. What colors do they see? What colors don't they see? Their field of view? And what details can deer actually pick out? So first and foremost, color. To keep things simple, deer see greens and blues and yellows. And actually, scientists through studying their eyesight have found that deer can see blue up to almost 30 times better than humans can. The colors that deer struggle with or don't see at all are oranges and reds. They may appear more of a yellow or not really at all to them. Deer can tell the difference between blue and red, but cannot see the difference between green and red, similar to people who are colorblind with green and red colorblindness. Deer can see the difference in shades of grays and tans, so they can pick up on lighter and darker colors. Now that we know what colors deer can see and can't see all that well, let's talk about their range of vision and their field of view. Deer have a massive field of view, where we as humans see 180. Deer are estimated to see between 280 and 310 degrees. Another key factor with deer's eyesight is that they see low light significantly better than humans do. In fact, they can process images two and a half times faster than humans can in low light conditions. And even in daylight, their vision can process up to two times faster than humans. This of course is according to the study that was done at the University of Georgia. Finally, when it comes to deer's eyesight, how well can they see fine details? In the same study we just referenced at the University of Georgia, they actually tested this and found that deer had 2060 vision, meaning that their eyesight is three times worse than the average humans. Deer do not see fine details, but instead focus on movement and overall shapes. Now that we know how deer see, let's start comparing camo patterns and use a filter to get a rough idea of how a deer might see this same pattern. To do this, I'm gonna be using the same color filter on all photos, and we'll be using the same blurring techniques and filters as well, so that we can keep all things fair. So, let's start looking at some camo. In our first image, we have this female hunter up in her tree stand. Now let's make it more color accurate to what a deer would actually see. Immediately to me, I notice how much the blue stands out. And if we correct this to be a little bit more vibrant, knowing that deer see blue even better, this is what it might look like. So now let's take away the fine detail by adding our blur filter. And this will give us a rough idea of what a deer would see if they were to look up and see her in this tree stand. To me, she stands out quite a bit, not only because of the blue, but because her pattern doesn't really match her background all that well. And even if we enhance the blur even more because the deer was farther away, she still stands out in my eyes. To me, this just shows that fancy camo isn't always the answer when it comes to trying to trick a deer's eye. And here would be another example. Even when we add the deer color filter and add a lot of blur for the deer being farther away, you still can clearly see the hunter in the tree stand. This is due to his background and his camo not matching very well in terms of shade. He's clearly darker than the tree and he's clearly darker than his background, making him stand out quite a bit. Now, this is not to say that expensive camo doesn't work in the field and that you shouldn't buy it. It absolutely can. You just have to use it in the right scenario and in the right environment. So just to be clear, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's going to trick a deer's eye and it doesn't make it any better if you don't use it in the right application. But what about those more photorealistic type of camos that we also see on the market? Oftentimes they can be a little bit more budget friendly and how well do they stack up in comparison? Well, let's dive right into it. So in this image, we have a bow hunter getting ready to shoot. Let's now put on our deer color filter. Let's now put on our filter to reduce the details to give it a more accurate representation of what deer actually see. What stands out for you that you notice? For me, it's his black safety harness. It's the black sight that he has, but especially the black paint that's even on his face. I know this looks great for probably an ad, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense when you actually see it through these filters. His camo does pretty decent, but there's no brush around him. There's no tree branches. There's no leaves that are similar colors. And because deer see green so well, 
it really makes him stand out, especially in contrast with the black that he has on his safety harness, on his bow, and as well as on his face. In comparison with almost the exact same style of camo, here's a hunter in the exact same position, but brushed in and using his camo much more effectively. You can easily see how this would work and be effective against deer. So what's the best camo to wear in the deer woods? Well, at this point, I think it's pretty obvious. Whatever camo is gonna match your surrounding areas the best. Doesn't matter how expensive it is, doesn't matter how affordable it is. If it's too dark or if it's too light, or you're not brushed in enough, you're obviously gonna stand out quite a bit. And when I think about all of this, it reminds me of Fred Bear, a man who loved to hunt and just red flannel, and also had one of the best takes on camouflage. The best camouflage pattern is called sit down and be quiet. Your grandpa hunted deer in a red plaid coat. Think about that for a second. So in the end, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Shoot straight, knock something down, and best of luck this deer season.